Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. So for today, we're gonna to be planning out the week of February 14th through the 20th. And oh my goodness, has it been a crazy busy month over here and it is not slowing down at all. I have a lot to update you guys on. But first, I wanted to let you know I am using Kit 8 today. This is my sparkling love kit and it's the kit that I created for Valentine's Day. I'm also using the matching widgets. As you can see, I had to put in some extra appointments <laughs> into the weekly view. It has just been crazy, you guys. There's been so much going on. So one big thing that's been happening is I have been getting taxes prepared. I have a tax appointment with my accountant on Monday the 14th, and honestly, I'm kind of nervous about it. Um, I, yeah, I would say my business for sure is the bulk of my income for 2021, and I just hope I did everything correctly. I have a lot of paperwork, like a crazy stack of paperwork that I have to bring in to him. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I've been preparing for that, which there's a lot that goes into that, you know, making sure you have all the forms you need and that all of your expenses are like accounted for and everything like that. So it's just been kind of crazy and it's been making me think of how I want to maybe make some changes for 2022's tax year. I currently use QuickBooks for managing my business finances. I like QuickBooks because it syncs up to my business checking account and I can pay my quarterly tax payments like directly through QuickBooks. And so it automat automatically tracks a lot, but I feel like I kind of want to track it also separately, maybe in like Excel or something. I do track it in every dollar as well because I use every dollar to kind of forecast my business budget. I actually have a video all on my on my channel all about that. But um, I feel like having an Excel sheet or something might be helpful too, just to kind of see things more at a glance because the form that downloads from QuickBooks is a very extensive form, which is great, but I kind of want something just for myself to see more like at a glance and maybe, I don't know, I'll have to see what my accountant thinks and what he feels like he needs, but it's been crazy getting ready for that. And then Julia this week is going to be getting her tubes put into her ears to drain out her ears. We took her to a ear specialist because she's been getting frequent ear infections. Like every couple of weeks she gets them. And he said, sure enough, she definitely needs tubes put in her ears. He was a little worried, like maybe she is not hearing very well because just her ears do not drain. So we are getting her in ASAP to mm -hmm. get the tubes put in. So that will be happening Wednesday. And then later this week, we are going to be picking up our little pepperoni. <laughs> so I shared on Instagram. I don't think I've shared here officially yet, but... We did rescue a puppy. We went to a Arizona rescue out in Cave Creek and absolutely recommend them. The ladies there were so sweet and everything, but they rescue puppies and dogs from reservations around Arizona. And so they had a whole, well, they had multiple litters of puppies. I did film that whole thing and it'll be in my day in the life on Monday but we're gonna be picking up our puppy. We did get a boy puppy and I asked on Instagram, I left, you know, I shared like pictures of multiple puppies and asked you guys which one you thought that we rescued and the majority of you did guess correctly. I will share his name though, his name is Mando and we kind of knew that was gonna be his name before we even saw him, but once we like saw him, we were like, yes, that is for sure your name. And if you know where Mando comes from, let me know in the comments down below, where does Mando come from? Because if you know, then you are my people. <laughs> so let me know if you know where that name comes from. But I have been on Etsy. I got him some, like a really cool, like dog tag collar um, thing. And then this weekend, we are gonna go and get him toys and food and his crate and like everything. So. Our whole family is very excited. I kind of put Andrew at the forefront of like any dog decision 
making stuff and I feel like as soon as he knew that our backyard was going to be done soon he was like it's time for a dog because <laughs> I originally thought we were going to wait until Christmas time to get a dog and we were going to surprise the girls for Christmas but he is just ready he's ready for a companion and so he's super excited it just makes me really happy to see him so excited and then of course the girls are just over the moon in love with this puppy so this puppy is going to be very spoiled and very loved in our family i go for morning walks and i'm super excited to take him with me on morning walks we have this really cool dog park that is really close to us within walking distance so i'm just excited for this next chapter so our family is growing by one fur baby and yeah just prepare yourselves you're probably going to see lots of puppy stuff on my instagram on youtube you guys will see lots of him if you're in my facebook group you know which puppy we rescued because i did share there i shared a picture of which puppy we rescued it was really hard to make the decision you guys like it's kind of funny the way it worked out so when we got there we like gravitated towards two puppies and the puppy we ended up rescuing was actually sleeping in like a little um not cave but like they had out in like the the pen you guys will see in the video they had like little spaces where they could go get shade and and he was sleeping in there so we didn't see him at first and then he like kind of wandered over and i'll i have a video of like the moment that andrew like saw him and picked him up and everything and so i'll share that on my day in the life as well but it was just like meant to be the girls gravitated toward well julia was just like puppy <laughs> but it's so cute because if i ask julia what's our puppy's name she says mando so she already knows his name has it down maddie of course told all of her friends and she's like we have to have play dates over here so my friends can see they want to see them and all this kind of stuff so we're just very excited and it's going to be, of course, challenging. Having a puppy is challenging. I have personally never raised a puppy before. Um, you know, I've had puppies in my past, but my parents were more <laughs> in charge of raising the puppy, training the puppy. So any puppy advice that you have, definitely let me know. I know PetSmart has some like dog training programs over there, some classes, so I might check that out. We will see, but um, yeah, so anyways, that is what's been going on over here. Kind of a big, big thing, <laughs> that's for sure. So, and then we've just had a lot of appointments. We've had dentist appointments and I have my lash appointment next week. We have an oil change. Like this is the month of just total chaos. And we of course have had our backyard too going on. So here's the update with the backyard. So we have our pergolas completely done. Those are done. Now we're waiting on the landscapers. They did come by and they got more specifics about, you know, measuring the space, figuring out how much material they would need, how many pavers they would need, how much gravel, all that kind of stuff. And just kind of fine tuning the overall layout of the backyard. And so they were able to give us an updated estimate and then also order the materials that they would need. They had our pavers like ordered and ready to go and I guess someone poached them I have no idea how that happens but now we're delayed again because pavers are hard to come by for some reason right now and we want a very specific like color so we're waiting on that <laughs> right now but he still feels confident that he'll get started on the backyard before the end of the month so it looks like probably early March is when our backyard will be finished and of course I will share all of that with you guys but then now what we're doing is we are looking for um, like furniture and stuff for the backyard so underneath the pergola like the freestanding pergola we want to have that be kind of a sitting and lounging space so we're looking for like an l-shaped you know couch to put out there I think we found the one that we really like at American Furniture Warehouse so and it's in stock which is honestly kind of amazing because it's furniture has been really hard to come by too there's usually a delay with it I know my friend Kelsey she ordered a 
outdoor like seating set for her backyard and I think she had to wait like seven or eight months to receive it. It was crazy. So we were like, we need to get this done ASAP. But this one's in stock, which is great. Our dining table that we're gonna put on the like attached side pergola, that's probably gonna take a while because everything is out of stock. And there's not a ton of options for that too. So I think we're gonna go to some different like furniture stores and check it out. But we wanna put like the dining area and then like a lounge area sort of separate. So we're currently looking for furniture. We're also looking for raised beds. We wanna get three raised beds cause we're gonna grow zucchini, cucumbers, bell peppers. Um, what else? What else were we gonna grow? Oh, uh, sweet potatoes some herbs and just different things like that. So we're gonna grow a bunch of vegetables in the backyard. Um, so we'll have like the apple tree, the lemon tree, the clementine tree, and then a bunch of veggies. And I'm really excited about that. And the girls are too. So we know the size of raised beds we need. We know where we're putting them. The landscapers do not provide those or purchase those. So we have to go and get those. So yeah, that is kind of the update on the backyard. So there's a bit of a delay with it but I think they might get started on the dog run because we're gonna put a dog run on the side of the house where it'll be kind of gated off and that's where Mando will go potty. That'll be his potty space. <laughs> and it's on the side of the house. We don't want him going on the artificial turf because as you can probably imagine, there's not normal grass that's gonna absorb it. It's, well, it's gonna just get stinky. So we don't want him going potty on the artificial turf so we're gonna have him go on the side we need to get a dog door get the dog door installed so that he can just go straight out to the dog run from the living room so there's like all sorts of stuff going on um it's kind of crazy you guys it's crazy but it's really fun i feel like things are just kind of coming together very quickly which is really cool and then i'm getting really caught up with work which is great i restarted my sweating to prosper um channel this week which I'm really excited about so I posted my first weigh-in today I'm gonna film what I eat in a day um, and yeah so that is going on and then all of the May kits are designed other than the mystery kit I'm gonna work on that today I'm actually waiting to hear from an artist about a design that I want to use for the mystery kit I just want to make sure it's okay to use it that's something I always do I always message artists and just make sure even if it says in the description of you know the item or if it says in there like FAQ what's allowed and not allowed I always just make sure to clarify I'm like here's my shop go take a look at what I do I just want to make sure that it's okay that I use this so I'm just waiting to get a message back from her about that and then um, I'll be designing the mystery kit and then I'm also working on widgets getting the widgets caught up so a lot of you have been asking about widgets for kits one through seven and the mystery kits one through three. I'm working on them now. I have all of them designed except for the mystery kits and kit seven. So that'll be a goal for today too, is um, picking up or picking up. I was looking at the screen as it was saying pick up Mando, is designing those, but everything else is designed and then we just need to start cropping, compressing, getting the GoodNotes files together. My goal overall is to get all of those widgets up by Wednesday of next week, which, which, what day is that? The 16th, I believe. The 16th is Andrew and I's wedding anniversary. I explained this in another video, but we have, when we like officially legally got married, which was May 1st, 2012. And then our big wedding, which was February 16th, 2013. And so our nine year anniversary is this upcoming Wednesday, but we decided we're gonna actually celebrate on May 1st. And so we're looking into staycation spots for that. So I decided not to put it in my planner for family and friends. Like our anniversary is February 16th. But I think for us, you know, um, personally, like our anniversary that we're going to celebrate is going to be May 1st. So we're going to wait to celebrate that. But yeah, that is pretty much everything that's been going on over here. A lot going on. Like I said, lots of updates for you guys. Um, I've got some exciting things coming down the pipeline for Planning to Prosper, a top secret project that I'm hoping to start working on next week. And I'm hoping to have it available by the time May kits are released, so we shall see. But yeah, I absolutely love, love, love how this kit turned out, or how this kit turned out, oh my gosh. 
I'm telling you, you can tell it's a Friday, how this spread turned out. I need to be better again about posting my spreads on Instagram. I've, I need to just get back into the habit of it. I missed it one week and then now I've just missed it this week too, but I'm gonna try to get my last week posted here soon. But yeah, um, I love how this one turned out. I love the colors. I love the festive love sparkles and all that fun stuff. So such a fun spread to put together, but Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you have some fun plans for the weekend and that you've had a great week. If you enjoyed this video, of course, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all of my future videos. I hope you have the most amazing weekend and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.